brothers welcome back to territorial.io we're starting off today here in a 24 player free-for-all battle here in the middle east and i want to go up north i've seen a lot of people do really well in this in some free-for-alls and i want to see if this works out for us now we do have three players above us to the northwest that is a problem but they're kind of fighting for constantinople i'm not sure if they're role-playing or not if they're not botting and they fight each other we've got a goldilocks spot right here this is exactly what you want to see in an opening spot. I mean, it can't get any better. There's no one around us. I mean, yeah, and those two guys are fighting up north. The three guys, excuse me, are fighting up north. <laughs> well, that works out really well for us as that's basically three players off the board. We're just going to freely expand over here. Ton of room. In fact, I'm going to delay my full send infinite growth phase a little bit just to get a little bit more troops out there because there's so much land around us. I don't want to stall out and then be really low on troops. Let's keep those numbers up high, keep going, don't let this run out, and just expand as much as we can. We're able to squeeze up north, that's fantastic. A lot of room around us, and we do wanna to push towards those guys in the west, limit the amount of land that they can get, but also just go wherever we can. I mean, there's no reason for us to not go everywhere. Now, going into the east too much, hard diving into the east would be a mistake. We don't wanna be in the middle, especially as the crown, that will put a hard target on us. And we wanna make sure to keep up our troops here, limiting how much we attack for because again need to keep the troops up high with the crown otherwise we're going to turn it into an instant target now this is a game with full sins so we have to keep that in mind as well that we could potentially get full sin player 726 up there with 176,000 troops is a little bit scary i don't know if he would attack us because he honestly probably wouldn't be able to continue that fight for very long and if there was a scramble for my land i don't know how much he would get it and he's still going after the uh player in black up there that was fighting in constantinople so we'll go ahead and grab the rest of this Istanbul. Excuse me. I play a lot of <laughs> historical games, so it's cemented in my brain. Uh, CK3, that that is uh, Constantinople. But anyways, we are done. We need to stop expanding. We need to build up troops and get honestly a little bit lucky with timing. We have a lot of troops. I don't imagine what's good down here. This is this is too greedy. This is too greedy. We shouldn't be doing this, but we're doing it. OK, we're here. Um, hold now. Osmanli, you want alliance? Absolutely. We'll definitely take that. We need to build up troops. Absolutely take alliance with you. A red interest mark is not until 7 million. We shouldn't be doing this either. This is just too greedy. I understand what I'm doing. I, I cannot help myself at this point, though. We could really do ourselves a favor by not grabbing this land, but it's free. So I want it. And the pink player is also kind of free. He's definitely free. A little bit of a risky maneuver here, but we have... A good amount of troops if any two people of our neighbors gang up against us we're a hundred percent lost but if we get just a little bit of time we're fine our the interest we're gaining is going to be insane on the land that we have take an alliance with you absolutely and alliance with you and alliance with anybody at this point we don't care we just need time to build up troops if we don't get that time we're screwed fortunately for us a lot of our neighbors are preoccupied with their with their own fights so like the yellow player below us is, is busy. The two players to the west of us are also busy. I'm gonna jump down here. And the Trump guy is also busy. So let's see if we can sneak a little bit of land over here. I do wanna deal with Soviet Union before he gets too big. That is a little bit scary prospect to have a guy that big behind us for when these bigger fights come sooner probably rather than later. So I don't really wanna attack you. We are pretty close to our red interest mark though. I am worried about you. Um, I think I go through you, you full sent, and we go into Soviet Union. We take out somebody who has a lot of land with zero troops. So getting this guy out of the way will do us very good. He was in like third place with like 50,000 pixels, and now we're just going to be able to crush him very quickly. The faster we're able to deal with this, the better. And we can also probably turn on Osmanli, um, our friend over there. I say friend, but he will be in a prime position to backstab us if we left him unchecked. And I don't, for that reason... I don't think we can. We are pretty far away from our red interest mark, about 5 million away. I'm gonna go ahead and push this. That is a very unfortunate full send right there. I'm very sad I engaged with Osmanli in this moment because we are very weak. We got full sent again, deserve that. We're throwing, we're throwing. <laughs> we're getting attacked by loyal ally. Oh no, here comes the barrage of attacks. The good news is we have 50% of the board. We can hold this off for a while. In this situation, we don't attack. We just build up troops. They're gonna go aggro. They're gonna be losing troops of their own to our defensive modifier. We're at 15 million, we're still gaining troops. Let's get up to like 20 million before we launch our counterattack. We're probably gonna go into the OG player up here 
as he is in second place. We're close enough. Let's uh, just start the attack here and get going here. Now, Loyal Ally is right behind him in terms of pixels, but we still have 45% and red interest. This game has been pulled back into our favor. We're doing just fine here. So let's just keep attacking this guy, keep whittling him down. We're at 47%. We're gaining percentages as we do this. We're at red interest. So what was almost a throw in a double full send really was came to our rescue. Another full send on our way. Doesn't matter. We start attacking Loyal Ally. We still have 47% of the land. Even without this guy, he gives us a kissy face on his way out. I don't think it, he knows I'm a Corgi boy. I think he's just saying, bye, loser. But uh, I'll give you the wave. Goodbye. <laughs> As... Uh, we just kind of tear through Loyal Ally. We can knock him off, and then that'll be the end of the game here. As they're not going to be able to rebuttal this. We have 52% of the board with all these bots still there. So now we can just start slowly rolling through Trump over here, knocking him down. And that's going to be it. The red player might have... Uh, it doesn't look like he would, had any plans to attack us, so I'm happy to get him through the end of the game. Our player in white over there looks like he might have attacked us don't like that <laughs> he's still in the game he was definitely attacking us that mongrel but i understand i would have done the same thing in his position but uh we'll just go ahead take out loyal ally over here give him a big attack let's try and speed this up a little bit Ugh, i don't want to throw fully but he still has a lot of troops and i don't want to get to a point where i embarrass myself by full sending again and then i don't have enough troops to finish off the bot so we'll just take this a little bit on the slow side here being a little bit but probably too cautious but that's fine we have 9 million. He's got 1 million. There we go. Taking him out. And you attacked us. That's interesting because he was so passive the whole game. You think he would have boated over to try and fight us, but he didn't. He just kind of stayed in the background the whole time. Maybe he was waiting for a full send that would have benefited him from like loyal ally. But last, we'll take you out of the game. We'll also get retributions from this guy attacking us over here. Knock you out and then grab Sri Lanka and call this a day. What a game. What an almost throw. <laughs> but GG's to all involved, and we'll go on to the next game. All right, next game up is going to be a team's battle here. We actually have a number of Corgi boys with us, and now Skeptic. I'm just trying to see if there's anybody I've played with. Don, no, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Marked. No, haven't played with any of these guys before. So I can't really speak to whether they'll be amazing or not, but going in the middle is not a great sign. This is, in fact, a contest after all. I'm, just, I'm going back here. Us collaborating up here is not going to work out very well if the red team is able to get all this land in Africa all to themselves. So I'm going to go down here as a little bit of a delaying action, if at the very best, I'm supposing. I mean, we do have a lot of land down here. So if we have, we do have a player down south that's going to slow down the guy in the corner. So that could work to our favor. I mean, we could definitely make a play here. There's no red player in the east. We are still going to get ganged up on, but if our team wins up north, we actually have a pretty good shot of kind of collapsing on the red team. So we're going to go early so that if we, we just grab a lot of land and at the end of the day, if we fail in our mission, at least we'll succeed in wedging. So that's kind of the, the play going forward right now. The red guy above me is actually pretty blocked in by his own bot. So again, this could be a good opportunity. Now we do have to keep in mind that he's uh, got borders on us, so he can definitely attack us at any time, but he's only got like one more bot to get before he's just fully locked. Now, the other flip side of this coin is that we are facing a wall of red bots, and that is very bad for us because the new bots are consistently attacking. They're very aggro, and that's gonna be a real pain in the butt. So there is a red, red player over there in the east. I do see him kind of emerging. But we do have this red wall of bots to block us. Corpse is attacking us, the red player. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. I'm going to just continue to keep grabbing bots for right now. Finish up this one too, because that's a big bot that's going to keep attacking us. So we do have a number of bots that are uh, still going to be attacking us. We just delay. We slow down. We'll just grab this one. Should I have gone up north? It's fine. I will we'll survive. I don't want to touch that player in the uh, on the uh, what is that uh, Persian golf or whatever that has 130,000 that would be too much I would get overwhelmed but we do have a player up north working on the guy above us so that is very good we are now equalized with corpse in fact we're stronger I am very concerned about let's grab these bots this blue player is coming in now him attacking us is a possibility as well not too concerned with it the red team is attacking him that's fantastic we'll just grab the rest of this land and just kind of help everyone ignores it for the time being because I'd love to help out up north as that guy has a lot of land and I don't really want to have to leave that to my teammates. You full sent. Okay. 
well. That changes things. We had to grab this land, otherwise we go to the red team, we'd still have borders with him. You have full donated. I don't know why you did that. You definitely could have won this fight down here with your teammates. But our black team has succeeded up north, so things are looking pretty good for us. We're at a million, and we have one, we have the one, four, six, and ten position, or nine position. So let's go ahead and knock down this guy just because he's a threat to our teammate above. The guy who's getting attacked right now is a bot, so we don't need to worry about that. But we do want to worry about the RU player grabbing any of this land, so we're going to be a little bit aggressive here, grabbing this land for ourselves. And there we go. Okay, so we're fine. We're doing good. We've got 50% of the board. Our, our team did amazing. Look at that. That's just tremendous right there. So you are attacking our teammate and getting rather large, Mr. RU player. I think we'll signal to this guy, hey, let's just knock down you. I understand the red team is still there, but I pro I'm going to prioritize getting this guy out of the way so that he doesn't interfere with any kind of donation base and our team can keep pushing over into the east, at least being competitive over there. As we have plenty of trips to get this done, we're close enough to our red interests, so it's definitely worth going into this guy, at least for right now, as a lot of our team is able to help out. Now, the player above us did really exhaust his troops helping out in this attack. So it's going to be a while before he's able to donate. He's in fact in second place and doesn't have a million, but his red interest mark is at 3.7 million. So that is uh, going to be a while. Skeptic has donated to us. That is fantastic. We are going to push into this guy again, just trying to get a united front with our team. We'll worry about the red team behind us later. It, oh, that's a terrible full send. Hopefully we don't get cut off by our teammate. He's pushing for this land. That's a little bit unfortunate. You shouldn't really want to be looking to cut off the crown in this position. And don't... Oh, brother. You're making this very hard for me to continue to fly. <laughs> Let's send a boat immediately and just start whittling down some of these players behind us now. As we have the liberty to do that. I think we have plenty of time before that boat gets there. Do I want to send a bigger boat? I think we do. Right? Let's send a big boat because I don't want to get kicked off. That'll be a long journey back. And uh, we'll finish up these guys over here. Just kind of solidify our base. I do see the Indian glucose up north is kind of pushing through a player but he's a bot he's left um can we hold on grab you out of the way don't attack me and i'm just kind of work okay you have full sense can we get up north hold on let's support you let's do the right thing we're at red interest nope the red player is going to be there so we're not going to be able to land hopefully we are able to land on this blue player and let's go ahead let's make sure we land oh they both send boats out to block me I don't know if uh, the first one got through. He sent a boat immediately. That's unfortunate. I think my boat's not going to make it. I can't get it out of there. It's it's Gonzo's. Okay. He's sending it out to let's um, get a bigger boat. Send it to you. In fact, let's send another one. And you will not be able to block both of those. That's for sure. So those boats will be there a little bit quicker. We'll join the fight. Our team is in a little bit of a pickle. So let's get up to red interest. Start donating. We've got three. 6 million on the way. Marked is also over there, uh, at least distracting WWW. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to hold the line or not, but I want to make sure that when I land, I land with a lot of force. I could be donating right now, but I think my biggest priority is landing as the, the number one player on the team with 15 million. If I just land here, I can completely change the game. In fact, we do. We get our first boat in. The second boat did get a little bit delayed there, but we outmatched his boat on that factor as well. So now we can just hardcore push into all of this, grab all of this land, immediately get up and start fighting Glucose to protect our teammate. And there we go. In the nick of time, should have sent a bigger boat initially. That was my mistake. I sh should have anticipated that a player that has not is not actively attacking is going to be looking out for the boat, and I just didn't. So that's on me. We'll go ahead and finish off people here, though. Just knock you down. There you go. Knock you down as well. Make sure to grab all of the land for our team here. And there and don't worry i didn't forget about this guy there we go okay so ggs to all involved on this one and as we do start to wrap things up i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching especially if you made this far in the video if you have made this far in the video hey give it a thumbs up really helps out a lot if you're new around here subscribe for more I put up videos every day but boys i will see you in the next one